Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Phenology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is ready to explode next week and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of Friday night's video, right after the intro. All right, everybody, right off the bat, the futures market opened about two hours ago. And so far, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. It's consolidating right now. It went down to close that little gap, right? And this previous level of um, support is holding quite well. And honestly, I do think it's going to keep holding all the way until tomorrow it's gonna like consolidate here and then turn right back up and open slightly higher towards 38.62 or 38.65 in the morning that's what i think is going to happen i am not bearish on the market especially given the fact that the um stimulus package got um got passed by the senate i believe that was on saturday so um so far the market likes it the market likes it a lot so I'm bullish on the market as of right now. Now, the stock that all of you are looking at on the thumbnail is WM. And for those of y'all who have been subscribing to the channel, I talked about WM and it's ready to explode. This really is ready to explode. I shared this one with all of you four days ago when we were right over here. This stock is ready for takeoff, hurry. All right, and this one performed to perfection for all of you who are holding this. I'm still long on this one. I'm not selling my calls. We're almost in here, but honestly, I think it can go even higher. I think it can actually break new highs um, within the next few days. Um, I think we can break and squeeze these short sellers right at the top. Um, it's gonna take a few weeks. Um, it's probably gonna consolidate here and then go a little higher bridge through my price target and go on even higher all right um this is a very reputable company it's waste management an essential company for their services so keep this one on your watch list is it's exploding right now and it has a lot of room to run and since i shared this one with y'all before i found another one all right and the other one that is ready to explode um, most likely tomorrow or now within the next few days. That stock is CNR, all right? And CNR is looking pretty nice. The pattern that I see here is a strong bullish pennant right over here. As y'all can see, right there, all right? It broke out on Thursday after earnings, okay? I was watching this one closely. I don't like holding anything through earnings. Everything, again, with the market was super bearish last week. And now it's looking very, very good for a long. As you can see, it broke out nicely. Where could this thing go? I think it can run all the way up over here towards, towards at least 15 bucks, maybe even $16 within the next few days. This breakout is quite perfect. And a lot of investors have their eyes on this one. Um, also, let's take a look at the weekly chart. Where is it right now? Now, in the last year and a half, it's been it's it, it took quite a beating, all right, all the way until the very bottom of um, March crash, and it's been trying to recover ever since. And the weekly chart looks quite nice to me, all right, and that is why I am sharing this one with y'all in this video watch this one for a continuation all the way up towards 15 maybe even 16 bucks within the next few days all right now let's talk about you guys stocks of interest for those of y'all who dropped those in the comment section of our videos um the very first one that we're going to talk about is crsp all right and crsp i shared this one with y'all um when it got over here at 120 i told y'all that i am buying this because of the amount of upside that it has not only here at around 150 but all the way over here 
again, these pullbacks are very rapid and very temporary. They're very nice, especially for short sellers. And now that the market has turned bullish, right? And now that we're seeing these, um, um, these bullish hammers and some dragonfly dojis all across the board, we can expect a massive move, a massive recovery all the way back up. It's actually bouncing off of previous support right now. If you see very closely, it's bouncing off of here. All right. That long term trend that I drew was in, uh, it, it was just a line, a best fit line that I drew right across the chart. I bounced off of it and breached it a little bit, but I think we're going to go higher. This is a reputable company and I'm not bearish on all of these stocks in this sector. I'm pretty sure another one in this sector is PACB. All right. And PACB, um, we started talking about it over here. And yeah, it just kept going all the way up and all the way up. And after this massive sale, this is a very good deal. All right. Especially for all of you long term investors out there who are interested in this stock. All right. As everybody bought in on Friday. So keep these ones on your watches for a long. I'm still bullish on CRSP. I really, I was waiting for this thing, for this thing to drop all the way down because it was so overbought over here. So this is a good deal for me for a buy and a hold for the recovery. Again, I'm just telling y'all what I'm doing with these stocks. This is not financial advice. This is just what I'm personally doing with this stock, all right? Now, the next one that we'll be covering, somebody asked me to do a review on uh, BP. All right. And BP, along with all your companies, um, have had a great run. All right. All of them has a great one. I think it can go higher. I'm not bearish on this one. They're still recovering from this massive fall all the way to the top. All right. They're still recovering. And also, when I look at this thing now, there is a reverse head and shoulders right now. Um, it's not quite it's not quite at 30 yet. I want to see if it can get to 30. All right. And then if it can get through 30 and bridge that, then perfect. It can keep going all the way up towards like 32 bucks. But $30 is where I can tell you guys that there may be some turbulence. And um, if you've been long in this, along with all of the oil companies, right? then you should you should think about taking some money off the table and paying yourself um but as of right now yeah i'm still long i think it can go higher i think it can definitely go higher to at least 30 dollars maybe maybe 32 dollars all right we'll have to check on this one later and that is my very honest opinion of bp along with all of the other oil companies now, the next one that we're going to be covering, we're going to move on to the retail sector, BBBY. All right. And BBBY, again, um, this one had a massive squeeze with GameStop and AMC and uh, BlackBerry. Everything was squeezing up here and it's been consolidating here. Um, the volume is super low. I'm not really interested in this stock as of right now. I'm really uh, I don't have high expectations of it. I am still monitoring it. Um, to see if there will be a move coming up within the next few weeks. If there is some action, then yeah, I'm definitely going to consider taking the trade on it. But as of right now, I'm just patient. This applies to the day traders out there. All right. The day traders slash short term swing traders. If you're a long term investor, um, these are the prices that you should be accumulating at. All right. These right here, prices to accumulate every time it gets in here. Again, if you have strong conviction about the company and you believe that it belongs to like, I don't know, 80 bucks right over here. If you believe that and you have done your research on the company, right? Then these lows right here after this beatdown is a great price to accumulate. I'm just very, very patient with this one. All right. And I will follow up on it again. Or I would take a trade on it if the opportunity presents itself. But that is my very honest opinion for BBBY for the person who asked about this one. It is at a great price for accumulation. The next one that we're going to be covering is SENS. And SENS had a double bottom. Um, it wouldn't, The second bottom wouldn't even lower than the first one. Just like every other stock throughout the past two weeks. That hammer is quite bullish. I think it can open up. I think it can go all the way up to three bucks tomorrow. I think. I don't think this is gonna go any lower. 
if you've been shorting this thing, consider getting out. Um, again, not financial advice. I'm just telling you that the market is turning bullish and short sellers, if you're still shorting and you want the stock to go all the way to like 50 cents or $1, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think so. There's a lot of hype around the stock E2. So just keep that in mind for all of you short sellers. For all of you bulls out there, this was a great time to buy. Like I said, Friday, Friday was an amazing time to accumulate on that dip. So keep these stocks for a long, like keep the stock on your watches for a potential long within the next few weeks. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. It helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on these post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon and the pre-market analysis videos which are released from Monday to Friday at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 15 minutes before the market opens. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul Nguma and at Analogy Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is new to you, if you're interested in getting started in the stock market, I'll have some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to have all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks after setting up with Webull using my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Laguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you tomorrow morning at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 15 minutes before the market opens. Enjoy the outro.